The new space race is here. Nations across the world are in fact eyeing to establish their presence beyond the Earth. The closest destination is the Moon and major global space agencies are eyeing to land on the lunar surface. And the lunar insertion of Japan's slim spacecraft has in fact shown that space exploration is undergoing a silent revolution. Lighter and cheaper spacecraft are slowly becoming the norm. So let's in fact take a look at Japan's smart lander for investigating the moon, also known as SLIM. The SLIM is lighter because it carried much less fuel. And compare that to India's Chandrayaan-3 mission out of 3.9 tons, the propulsion module alone weighed almost about 2.1 tons. The SLIM's mass and fuel capacity is a fraction of Chandrayaan-3. And yet it is able to make it to the moon. And here's how. The SLIM, in fact, took four months using a fuel-thrifty route based on weak stability boundary theory. SLIM swung around the Earth multiple times and then built up its kinetic energy with each swing. And once it was travelling fast enough, it shot up towards the Moon's orbit. And this is similar to how Chandrayaan-3, in fact, went to the Moon. But once it got close to the Moon, Chandrayaan-3 applied its brakes and this consumes fuel in space. It is slowed down enough to be captured by the Moon's weaker gravity, but Japan's SLIM did things differently. Instead of slowing down and being captured by the moon's gravity, it allowed itself to be deflected in the moon's direction. This maneuver was formulated in the 1980s and mainstream use of this technique has the potential to revolutionize lunar landings. This mission will also influence the upcoming Chandrayaan-4 mission, which is going to be a joint collaboration between India and Japan, along with the orbit transfer maneuver, a feature matching algorithm and navigation systems tested on SLIM. This is also important for Chandrayaan-4 to land closer to the lunar south pole than ever before. And our correspondent Siddharth MP has been tracking the story closely for us and has sent us this report from Chennai. Listen in. fundamental difference between India's Chandrayaan-3 lunar mission and Japan's slim lunar mission is the fact that Chandrayaan-3 took three to four weeks to get from Earth orbit to the Moon's orbit, whereas the Japanese mission is taking about four months to get from Earth's orbit to the Moon's orbit. And this is also because the Japanese mission is taking a very, very fuel-efficient route, which also ensures that the craft is very lightweight, just about 700 kilos, whereas Chandrayaan-3 weighed close to four tons. What we have to keep in mind is that Chandrayaan-3 had gone from Earth orbit to lunar orbit and to get captured by the moon's gravitational force it had to apply its brakes which means to fire its engines to slow down and get captured around the moon. This is a very costly maneuver which involves spending a lot of fuel and that fuel makes the craft heavy. The Japanese mission is taking a completely different route. It actually flies by the moon, flies well past the moon and does huge circles or loops around the moon and then it takes a time consuming route which will gradually slow it down automatically and then it approaches a similar landing like Chandrayaan-3 itself. While both of them are lunar soft landing missions, we have to remember that Chandrayaan-3 had the buffer to land within a few kilometers of a certain landing site. Whereas this particular Japanese mission, SLIM, aims to land within a 100 meter radius, which is the highest ever accuracy being attempted for a lunar soft landing. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, Vyond, World is One. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.